Button Fix. The versatile secret fixing system makes panelling a wall quick, easy and precise. This film shows step by step how we use the system to build a panelled wall supported by a timber stud frame. Of course, there are many other ways it can be used too, where you have an existing wall for support, but the basic principles are the same. With Button Fix, all the fixings are hidden, yet the panels can still be removed to access services behind or to replace an accidentally damaged panel. We're using the Type 1 button fix, which is specifically designed for heavy duty applications. The fix can be surface mounted with a pair of 5mm pan head screws, leaving an 8mm gap behind the panel. Alternatively, if space is critical, or if you want to maximise the strength of the fixing, the fix can be rebated. Use 4.5mm countersunk screws to ensure the screw heads don't project. Before starting the installation, we've pre-prepared the floor-to-ceiling battens that carry the fixes. The battens are 18mm plywood and around 150 to 200mm wide, depending on the desired flash gap detail between panels. The fixes are spaced to suit any horizontal breaks in the panelling or, for full-height panels, approximately every 600mm. To rebate the fixes, we're using the Button Fix router jig which has stops on the underside to position the fix at the recommended minimum distance of 35mm from the edge of the panel. Make sure the jig is securely clamped to the batten on the workbench and that the router is set to cut a 6mm deep rebate. The jig also helps to position the pilot holes for the 4.5mm screws. Here, the stops on the jig are being reconfigured to machine a rebate in the bottom right corner of the batten. The router requires either a 12mm cutter and 18mm guide bush combination, or, if you have imperial cutters, a half inch cutter and three quarter inch guide bush. This can all be done in advance of the installation, off-site if that suits you best. Even if you are surface mounting the fixes, the jig can be helpful to accurately position the pilot holes. But if you don't have a jig, it's easy enough to mark out manually, thanks to the centerline guides on the fix moulding. Draw your guidelines 35mm in from the edge of the panel and align the fix moulding to them. When surface mounting, the slots in the moulding allow a little side-to-side -side adjustment. Before installing the battens on site, it is important to check that the timber stud frame is vertical and that all the studs are in a level plane. Vertical studs should approximately align with panel brakes, but their exact position isn't critical. What's important is that the studs are vertical and in plane. At the floor, use a planed timber spacer to set the baseline for the panelling. Here, we are leaving a nominal 25mm gap below the panel. Check the spacer is level, and add packers if the floor is uneven. A laser level can also be used to check that the baseline is correct. Offer up the first batten assembly, and rest it on the floor spacer to ensure a level baseline. Loosely clamp it in place while you check that it is vertical, then securely screw it to the stud. It's worth taking time to get the first button set out correctly, as you can use it to align all the other buttons. If your panels are all the same width, a measuring stick will be helpful to create equal spacing between the fixed buttons. If the panels vary in width, you will need to measure the batten-to-batten -batten spacing. On this installation, 
the architect has detailed a 25mm flash gap between panels. So we are finishing the raw ply with a 50mm wide strip of laminate, fixed to each button with double-sided tape. The 3mm thick flange on the rebated button fix also allows sufficient clearance for a range of flash gap materials. Another useful accessory is the button marker. These are bright red, so are easily spotted in the toolbox. Snap one into every fix behind the fascia panel you're about to install. Their sharp metal points will be used to mark the back of the fascia panel where the button should be. Offer up the fascia panel and carefully align it in the desired position. When you're happy it is correct, press firmly over each fix and marker. Use the indents on the back of the panel as guides for drilling pilot holes for the buttons. There are two types of button, a lime green one for countersunk wood screws, use a 5mm or a number 10 screw, and an orange one for euro screws. Euro screws which are also known as varianta screws, are ideal for thinner panels and the ones that work best with the orange buttons are 6.2mm in diameter with a 7.8mm head. They require a 5mm diameter pilot hole to be drilled in the panel. Before installing the panel, first remove all the red button markers. You can reuse them when marking out the next panel. Then, offer up the panel with all the buttons fitted. The design of button fix makes it easy to align the fixings, even though you are working blind. Once you feel that all the buttons are sitting in the fixes, pull sharply downwards to fully engage them. You will hear a click as they lock home. In some circumstances, you may want the panel to be easily removable, so you can reduce the strength of the click fit by snapping off the little ears of some, but not all, of the fix mouldings. Just in case the plastic fragments fly off, Always wear safety glasses when doing this. At this panel junction, the architect has detailed a visible metal edge between panels. With the 8mm gap created by surface mounted fixes, there is sufficient space to screw an aluminium T section to the batten behind the fascia panels. We've also orientated some of the fixes here so that the fascia panel slides on sideways rather than dropping down vertically like the first panel. Both methods are just as strong and you can choose the orientation that best suits your application. A suction pad makes handling the panel so much easier. To engage or disengage the Type 1 button fix, the panel needs to slide by 15mm. The 25mm flash gap detail gives you plenty of clearance for this panel to disengage sideways. If your button fixes are orientated vertically, you will need a similar gap above the panel instead. To summarise, we've panelled a wall with button fix buttons on the back of the fascia panels. The Type 1 fixes are either rebated or surface mounted onto vertical battens that we prepared off site. These battens are fixed directly to the timber stud frame. We hope this example is similar to a project you may have to do. You could typically find it in a commercial washroom to conceal the plumbing. In this particular application, space the vertical studs to suit the sanitary wear and make wider ply buttons that will span across a pair of studs. This provides a much firmer ground for connecting cubicle partitions and panels carrying wash basins or urinals. Note that we've orientated the button fixes sideways on the access panel below the basin. This is just one of the many ways that you can use button fix, a system that has been designed with the installer in mind. Button fix. The secret fixing for panels.